Hey, that's Mike and Holly, Alex, Eddie, and Chelsea. What is going on in here? Trouble. I see that. Whoa, that hair girl. Yeah, it's it's wild today. That's for sure. Don't jump too high. Oh wait. Oh I don't know. <laughs> She's getting taller though. Yeah, she is. For sure. Ah. Is it going I'm too close? Chelsea says I have to film this. What is it? Look at all what shells I have from eating these. Peanuts. Wow! From shelling your own peanuts and eating peanuts. And even huh? there's some in here. Oh my goodness! Wowzers! <laughs> Did you eat them all? Not all of them. There's oh. still some left. But... You've been over here for a while, munching and crunching, <laughs> like a little squirrel. Are you a squirrel girl? <laughs> Eating all the peanuts. Doesn't look like there's any left. Are you sure you have some left? Maybe that one right there might have one in it still. Where? That one. I guess we need to go back to um, Five Guys. Get you more peanuts. <laughs> I was just telling Michael, fun size isn't so fun when you only get a few. I want more. <laughs> we are, I'm having a little treat because we are getting ready to watch a movie. What are we watching? The Grinch. The, the, the Grinch. The Grinch. First Christmas movie of the season. The first Christmas movie of the season aside. With asterisk. We've already been watching Hallmark movies. Yeah, <laughs> we started watching Hallmark movies last week. Yep. Was it like November 1st yeah. or something? <laughs> I don't know, we just didn't want to wait anymore. Michael's like, do we dare? I says, why not? We enjoy watching them, so why not? Yeah, I don't know how long Grinch is gonna be on Netflix for, so in case they remove it for some reason, I wanna get it watched. Yeah, we wanna make sure we watch it. Cause didn't you say this one was out last year, but we yeah, never so watched this it? At, no, this one it was out last year at the movies. So this is the Dr. Seuss this Grinch is the newest, cartoon. Newest, newest cartoon. Or animated, yeah. yeah. Animated. So we've got the love sack pulled over. <laughs> You've got bags upon bags of candy in there. Do this I, is the one I picked. Do I at least have another one? You have regular M&M's. <laughs> She's got like a dozen bags of regular M&M's saved. Yeah, and she wants my bag. one peanut bag. So anyway, we pulled the uh, love sack over so that Chelsea and I can snuggle. Oh, you've got quite the audience over here. And over here. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I only just realized that. She drug over her horse, her uni, the llama, her ornament horse, all these dolls. Charging admission. No kidding. And then we have the real, the real pet who's gonna want to snuggle in. I'm sure of it. So, wow, Charles. My goodness. Are you ready to watch? Oh, what? Okay, we're gonna watch this today? Yeah, like sometime today. She's gotta get everything ready, Daddy. Look at these guys, all snuggled up. Daddy's playing video games. Chelsea's playing on her phone. And Edward's snuggled up in the corner. Oh, he's out. He doesn't like it when we vlog him. As soon as he does something cute, if he catches us, he stops doing what he's doing. So, our nights have been a little different, a little off lately. Alex has started her, her job at Target and last week she worked a couple nights from like five to 9.45 and then today she worked her first like full shift, like an actual like, well, I guess other ones were what, almost five hours, so that's like a shift. But um, she's part-time and she worked today from two to nine. So it kind of like ends up that I have, have to go get her before Chelsea goes to bed. So then Chelsea, I get Chelsea all ready, bring her downstairs and she hangs out with daddy while I go to get Alex, come home and put Chelsea to bed. 
um, at least until Alex gets her license and is comfortable with driving back and forth and driving at night. She texted me earlier when she was on her break and she said that the day was going by faster than she thought it was gonna be, so that's good. And I said, oh, does that mean like you're busy? And she's like, no, just it's going by fast. So that's a good thing. Do we need to put her down? Our ice machine will not produce ice. Like about, okay, so it's been at least about a week, right? That we, something's been going on with it and how he's done the cleaning process like five times. It would produce a little bit of ice and then maybe it would just stop running and maybe it'd produce a little bit of ice and it'd stop running and it's just really not working anymore. It should be actually kicking out some ice right now. Oh, and it's warm in there. Because she just cleaned it again and it won't make ice. Yeah, I've been through the process again today several times because I've been making ice. What do we do? I tried unplugging it and plugging it back in again, and it, a couple times it's actually worked, but. Okay, but what you have to kind of do is, like both, there's the cleaning switch, and then there's the make ice switch. And then you have to like unplug it and plug it back in. And then you have to push the button at certain times, and you have to clean it, and then you have to, <laughs> like it's these whole, yeah. It's I don't know. All this these processes you have to go through and I've gone through them and through them and through them and I cannot, the only thing that I could think of is even after all the times that I've cleaned it, which has been dozens now, is maybe somewhere up inside of there somewhere, there's something going on that we yeah. just can't get to. That white stuff is what's in our water, which awesome. could could be building up, it built up in the pipes and it could be clogging. Cause there's, there's water running I mean, the compressor, I don't think the compressor's bad. You can see a stream of water running. Water's going through it. Like, I don't think the pressure's bad because it was producing ice. Well, and Michael and I have talked about this. And they're watching this and like, it's just ice. No, no it's not, not just ice. It's not just ice. Those of you who know the good ice, you know the good ice. It's the soft ice where it's got just like a nice soft crunch to it. Um, and it's not hard, it's not hard on your teeth. Well, it does something to keep so, your drink colder too. It like, it yeah, really does. It almost like, it's almost like aerated ice and your drink like goes into the ice cubes. I'm and gonna makes unplug it, it and replug better. it back in because it's not it doing nothing. So Michael and I have talked about this. So we bought this on a Kickstarter years ago, the, the year before we moved into this house, like finished building and moved in. And then we got it right after. Um, we moved into the house. Can you see me? You've got, you're doing no, stuff behind got, the scenes and I can see the no, lens going but we, like this. we got it at the other house, right? No, it was delivered here. We oh, I didn't know that. We bought it when we were living at the old house and then we were living here for like a month or so and it, and it arrived and I was like, that's perfect timing. Um, so it's kind of one of those things. I was like, by the time we like hire someone to maybe be able to take it apart and fix it, could maybe buy another one, but like I really don't want to have to buy another one because yeah. they're not cheap. Like you can like, actually, this isn't no longer a Kickstarter. A company did purchase this and the, there's, I don't know what company it is, but they actually sell these now. So yeah. anybody can buy yeah, it. Yeah, I know you can buy it. I don't know it. if it was like General Electric, GE, or some other appliance company. I don't know, but I'm thinking, A, would an appliance person even know what to do yeah. with it? Do you think it's so? It's just a machine. Mm -hmm. Michael's like it's, it's a parts Michael's thing. Michael's like it's you an might ice have... maker. It's just a different ice right. maker. I mean, it's like any other ice maker, the mechanics and stuff. But I don't know. I guess it just kind of if we can't get it to work. Get me a screwdriver. <laughs> well, well, I guess if it comes down to it, we can't do anything else. You can try to tinker with it, or maybe oh, my I was just suggesting. Wee, wee, wee. No, never. I would. I wouldn't even. Even if we can't get it to work, because go take her in the backyard and no, dig a hole. No, you just. I would just hold on to it because you never know when I might become. You will literally hold on to it I too. Will, because what if I become friends with someone who knows how to fix it, and they'll be like, "Hey, would you take a look at this for me?" Maybe my dad could take.